2024 Junior Panorama Competition held on Sunday at the Queen's Park Savannah attracted a significant crowd and saw some unlikely first-time contenders capturing the coveted title. Giselle Ligal tells us more. Cultural transformation, as Minister of Education Dr. Nian Gatsby Dolly described it, in our nation's schools, is one of her ministry's main objectives. She said they would like to ensure that students have a deeply enriching school experience with pan and the music on the whole playing an instrumental role. Minister Gatsby Dolly was pleased with the level of participation at the 2024 National Schools Panorama Finals held on Sunday at the Queen's Park Savannah. Over the years, we've seen more and more schools that may not have been traditionally involved in the school panorama coming into the school panorama. What that signals is a recognition that the act of playing the pan, coming together as a team, and what it engenders for school patriotism, school spirit, that is something that is very important in our nation right now. Minister Gatsby Dolly referenced some of the Ministry of Education's initiatives, including the primary school music program, where assigned tutors are tasked with the responsibility of preparing interested schools for musical competitions, and not just at carnival time, but throughout the year. But another significant alliance was welcomed in this thrust. The partnership between the existing um, steel bands and the schools, we are seeing that grow and we want to see it grow even further so that even schools who do not necessarily have their own equipment and pans and so on can benefit from that partnership to be a part of these competitions. Pantrin Bego's Junior Panorama 2024 Finals incorporated three categories, namely primary and secondary schools and the under-21s. In Winners Road this year was St. Margaret's Boys Anglican at the primary school level with their energetic rendition of Olutunji's Engine Room. Holy Faith Convent Pinal's spirited debut performance of Savannah Grass by Kester Fintala earned them their first ever secondary school champions title, while first place in the 21 and under category was captured by a highly deserving BP Renegade Youth Seal Orchestra. They are projecting that the future of Pan and Trinidad and Tobago is in excellent hands. Our young arrangers, our students, our young people choosing to go to the Pan Yards and practice to perform here today. This is exceptional. And as we say, Pan is one way to deter crime and to take our young people out of crimes. Mrs. Hernandez expressed that the competition has outgrown the north stand of the Queen's Park Savannah, which resulted in each competition group having to depart to allow for the next. It is her hope that in 2025, the capacity of the north stand can be expanded in time to facilitate the anticipated crowd so that patrons can enjoy the entire program if they so desire. For TTT News, I'm Giselle Legault.